Good day! This is Teacher Janice and I welcome you all to our math class. For this video presentation, we will be learning about Solving problems involving proportions. With our learning target, solve problems involving direct proportion, partitive proportion, and inverse proportion in different contexts such as distance, rate, and time using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. First, let us identify what a direct proportion is. If an increase in quantity results to an increase in another, then the two quantities are direct proportion. Examples Score to rating Your body size and the size of your uniform and number of kilos of rice to the amount you will pay. Let's have this sample problem. Example number one. When Mrs. Cruz went to abroad for an educational tour, she noticed that each guide goes along with three tourists. If there are four guides, how many tourists would they bring around? Let's have this given. One guide, four, three tourists. Here's the solution. First, write the related proportion. You have guide to tourist that is equal to guide to tourist. That is 1 to 3 equal to 4 to n. Next, we will solve for n in the proportion. We need to know the number of Tourist. That is 1n equals 4 times 3. We have n equals 12. Therefore, our answer is 12 tourists. Next example, Eric's car consumes 1 liter of unleaded gasoline for every 20 kilometer distance. How many liters of unleaded gasoline will he need to travel a 160 kilometer trip? Given are 1 liter for 20 kilometers. Here's the solution. First, you write the related proportion. We have liter to kilometer that's equal to liter to kilometer. That is 1 liter to 20 kilometer equal to, we are finding the liter or we use N is to 160 kilometers. That's 1 to 20 that's equal to N to 160. Next, solve for N in the proportion. That becomes 20N equal to 1 times 160. Then, after finding the product, we will divide it by 20. So, 160 divided by 20 equals 8. What is the value of n? 8. And what is our answer? There are 8 liters for 160 kilometers. Another kind of proportion is inverse proportion if an increase in quantity results to a decrease in another then the two quantities are inverse proportion example suppose that 20 men can build a house in six days if the number of men is 30 
Then, it would take only four days for them to build a house. If the number of men is 40, then it would only take three days to build the house. Let's have this sample problem for you to understand more. Example number one, three men can complete a project in three weeks. How many men will be needed if the project is to be completed in a week? Given three men in three weeks. Solution, first write the related proportion. We have more men is to less men equal to more weeks to less week. N men is to 3 equal to 3 weeks is to 1 week. We have N to 3 that is equal to 3 to 1. Let us solve for N in the proportion. That is N equals 3 times 3. That is of course, 9, then divided by 1, the answer is still 9. The value of n is 9. Therefore, the answer is 9 men are needed to complete the project in one week. Example number 2. 20 men can paint a building in 15 days. How many days will it take 30 men to paint the same building? Given we have 20 men and 15 days. Here is the solution. First, write the related proportion. More men to less men, that's equal to more days to less days. That is 20 men to 20 men equal to 15 days to n or 30 to 20 that is equal to 15 to n next we will solve for n in the proportion that is n equals 20 times 15 that is 300 then divide by 30 the answer is 10 the value of n is 10 or it will take 10 days for 30 men to paint the same building. Next kind of proportion is partitive proportion. If a given whole is to be divided into several parts given a specified ratio, partitive proportion is used. Sample problem. Example number one. Divide 100 into parts 2 to 3 to 5. Given 100 into parts 2 to 3 to 5. Solution. 2 units plus 3 units plus 5 units equals 10 units. Therefore, 1 unit is equal to 100 divided by the total number of units, which is 10. That is, 1 unit is equal to 10. Therefore, 10 times 2 units is equal to 20. 10 times 3 units is equal to 30. And 10 times 5 units is equal to 50. The answer is 20, 30, and 50. Example number 2. Aina, Rian, and Matthew are business partners. They agreed to divide their profits in the ratio 1 to 2 to 3. How much should each receive if the total profit is 6,000 pesos?
Given, we have 6,000 pesos in two parts, 1 to 2 to 3. Solution, 1 unit plus 2 units plus 3 units equals 6 units. That is, 1 unit is equal to 6,000 divided by the total number of units, which is 6. That is, 1 unit is 1,000. Therefore, 1,000 times 1 unit is 1,000. 1,000 times 2 units is 2,000. 1,000 times 3 units is 3,000. The answer is... Now, the answers are... Aina will get 1,000 pesos, Rian will get 2,000 pesos, and Matthew will get 3,000 pesos. Again, what are the three kinds of proportion? We have direct proportion, inverse proportion, and partitive proportion. Now, for your activity, answer practice on pages 123 to 124 of your notebook. Remember, class, that in everything we do, Jesus is glorified. To end this video presentation, allow me to say thank you for watching.